Hey guys, welcome back to Divine Designs by Dee Dee. Welcome back to my channel. Today is May the 6th, 2020. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and also my yahoo.com. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning guest and you are coming back to watch my channel, I really do appreciate all of you guys. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So you guys, please share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave me a couple of comments. I do like co corrective criticism. Today, I am going to do a couple of DIYs. And this here is my flower wall. Also, guys, don't forget to turn that notification bell on. So the next time I do a video, you will be notified. And stay tuned for my DIYs. As you guys see, I have several DIY projects that I'm going to do today. I've been scrounging through all my stash and I came up with a couple of DIYs. So this here will be the first one. I have these little wind twisters that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I also have these little plaques here. I also have these. That's, that's number one. So this is number one here. And then I also have, this is number two. And I have these little dowels. I have some, um, what are these things called? Some tumbling blocks from the tower game. I also have two of these little plaques right here that I got from the Dollar Tree. So that will be number two. I also have these little... Um, these little wall modular wall shelf, these little octagon shapes here. I have four of these and I also have this new rope that they have at the Dollar Tree. This here is a lantern that I got from, um, where did it come from? I got it from, I believe it was Dollar General and it was broke. So I ended up, it says $4 on it. I ended up paying $2 for it. And so what, what, what happened was the little strap here had broke off. And so what I did was I used this little um, Dollar Tree metal wire that, that you can, uh, floral wire that you can um, bend. It is really flexible. I used that. And then I made these. So I also have my beads here. I have my bag of beads here. So this is number four. Four. And then this here is going to be a tray that I'm going to make with some beads. I also have uh, these little beads here. I have this little, um, this was $19.99. It's originally from Kohl's. And it says $2.99, but I ended up getting it from the thrift store for half price. And it's a little candle holder. So this is going to be my next project. And I also got this little round circle from the Dollar Tree. I took the tag off already, so I'm going to sand that. So this is going to be project number five. So I have five projects here that are in front of me here that I'm going to be complete. Okay, this is video recording take three. I don't know what's going on with my phone. I don't know why it's not recording like it's supposed to be doing. I did an update to it yesterday. So now it's acting like it don't want to. I don't know what's going on. But this is take three. And I have actually started on my projects that I was going to show you guys. And I thought I pushed record on the take one. But I guess I never pushed record. So now... I am in the middle of my projects, and you guys can see where I'm at. So I'm going to start now where I'm where I'm at. But I'm going to start on this project here. Remember, I showed you these two little um, plaques here. I showed you these. And then I also went outside, and I painted my little... Um, my little windmills, wind chimes that I had. I went outside and painted those. And I painted those with this um, chestnut 
chestnut uh, rust-oleum gloss paint and so what I'm going to do here is okay guys I was put you guys on hold so that I can look for my mic I've changed my room my room around if you guys can tell I don't know if you guys can tell by the camera by the view but I have changed my room around again and now I don't know what I did with my mic that goes to my phone. So I'm going to have to find that. So I'm going to go ahead on and try to get this video out because I've been working on this video for two days. So now what I have here is I went outside and I spray painted these little wind chimes here. And I went outside and I used this Rust-Oleum um, gloss two times coverage chestnut paint. And so what I did is I also spray painted a dowel too. So the dowel fits right down in here. And I want to cut it. So I'm going to take my little cutters here. And I'm going to cut that part off there. And I'm going to take... And I'm going to put this a little, I don't know how far I want it down. So I'm going to cut off a little bit, maybe about, I think I could probably do two inches on each one of them and then have it go down in there. So let's see if that works. Make sure that that's down in there. And I'm going to take the, I guess it doesn't matter because both of them have holes at the top. I'm going to try to angle my piece on here. So, instead of me putting the glue on my rod, I'm going to put the glue on my piece right here because I know exactly where I'm going to put it at. So, I'm going to stick that on there. Now, I'm going to stick my rod right there and I'm going to hold it for a second. Give it a little time to dry. And also I have both of them kind of like slanted at an angle because that's the way the that's the way it's it's made. It's at an angle. So this one is also at an angle. But I'm gonna paint these. But I'm gonna put these to the side because I am done doing the construction of it. I'm gonna start on something else. So that's project number one. And this was another one here that I started on that didn't get recorded. And um I don't know if you guys seen where I put the legs on. I ended up putting the feet on here. And some kind of way it's it made it unlevel. So I put a little cardboard on, cardboard on the bottom to make it level so it can stop rocking. So that's what I did here. And I had two of these, remember. And what I did was I went on and took the um I went on and took the glitter off here. It was a like a paper glitter. And I went on and took it off the top. But I didn't take it off the bottom. But that's okay because I'm going to paint both of them anyway. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one over. And I drilled holes in here with the drill. And I glued them in there already. I hot glued them in there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my, my little piece here. And I'm going to glue this in here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot glue again. I'm going to take a little hot glue. I'm going to put a little hot glue down there. And this is my, um, this is my, um, Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm just going to glue that just so it can hold. And I'm going to do this one as well so I got that one in there and I'm going to take this one and this one as well and I'm going to glue this one to the side right there on that one And then I'm going to take it on this side, and I'm going to glue it to that side. So I'm going to let that set up for just a second.
and I hope it is straight. Voila. So there we go. It's like a little, and it's still looking like it's not even. So I may have to put, I may have to put a little bit more paper on that, but that's the last thing I can do. I don't have to do that right now. I don't know why it's not, uh, it's wobbling. But anyway, this is how it's going to look. And I'm going to paint it. And what I have here is I have this little dirty glass that needs to be washed out. little, um, vase. I don't think I got it from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if Dollar Tree sell these big ones or not. But anyway, I made it. I had it. I, I made two of these. I made another one to where it was smaller and I had it down to where it was only like that much from the top. But I decided to make it bigger in case I want to sit another, a bigger, um, in case I want to sit a bigger vase in here. So that's the way that one's going to look. So that one's also going to be painted. And I'm going to paint right over the glitter. And I'm going to paint right over this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint that. So that's project number two. Now, this is number three. Now, this is what my boo-boo was. I don't know if you guys remember at the beginning, I showed you this um, round plaque here. And it was one of the round plaques that I had got from the Dollar Tree. And it had the glitter on it. It was the little relaxed thingy that looks like this. And it had glitter on it. Well, me trying to be the person that I am, trying to make sure that I do everything in a hurry, I glued it on the wrong side. I wanted to put the glitter at the bottom. So I ended up taking the top off here. I just peeled that little flamingo off here. I tried, um, I tried sanding it off, but it didn't, wasn't working, but it's still smooth. See, I got the smooth side at the bottom like a big dummy, but that's okay. So we're going to work with what I got. So now I have the top here. So I'm going to try to sand it down. It's kind of rough here. So I'm going to try to sand the top down on this one. Make it a little bit smoother than what it is. And I took it outside and I sprayed it down as well. So it's a little bit smoother than it was. So that's what that looks like. I took it outside and I sprayed it with the uh, chestnut too. But like I said, this part is smoother and I kind of sprayed at this. And I'm not, it's not painted, uh, it's not spray painted very well. In which I did it intentionally because I'm also going to put another coat on top of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beads here. And I have these little beads that I've been using this pack I don't remember how many it was in here but it was a, a heck of a lot and I ordered it from Amazon and I got another one coming tomorrow so hopefully I'll have enough so I'm going to try to work with what I got if not I may end up doing big and little and big and little let's see because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough big ones or not let me see. So I'm going to go ahead on and put all big ones on here, but I'm going to put them on here. Um, I'm going to put them on here until I can't don't have enough room. And then when my other ones come tomorrow, if I don't complete this one tonight, I'll complete it tomorrow. So my next step is I have my well bond glue. I'm going to take my well bond glue and I'm just going to put a little dab around the bottom here and I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go around too far but I'm gonna start right there and I'm gonna take my beads and I'm gonna put the holes to the side I'm not gonna put the holes on top so I'm gonna start putting these on here So I'm going to start putting these on here and then when I get done, I'll be back.
Okay, so that's what this one looks like with the little beads around it. And I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to let it dry. And so I am in love with these beads for some reason. Okay, so we can go ahead on to the next project. So what I did was, this was, um, like I said, I got this from um, Family Dollar or Dollar General. I believe it was Dollar General. And it was uh, $4, but I actually paid $2 because the top of it was broke off of it. So I ended up putting this little bead thing on it. And I taped it, but you guys didn't see it. So what I did was I just took the little flyer, the little flower. What I did is I took the little flower um, wire and put beads on it, and I wrapped it around the little the little um, mechanism that's already here. I just wrapped it around there. So I like this. I like this just like this. And so what I was thinking about doing was putting a taller. Um, this one won't fit in there oh yeah it will fit in there this one also fit in there but it comes with this little bitty one in there if you can see it has like a little look in the bottom it has like a little circle where it sits on but i didn't like it so i wanted something bigger so i may end up putting this putting this big one in here and um leave it just like this i like it just like this i don't want to paint it i was going to paint it but I think it looks pretty just like it is. So, I may leave that one alone. Sometimes you just have to walk away from it and I'm going to let it rest like that. And then you'll see in my home decor if I paint it or not. But as of right now, I am not going to paint it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on and start on my next project. Took these outside and I painted them. And this is the ones that I had with the rope. So now what I'm going to do is. So I am end up taking it loose anyway. Because I came up with another idea. So I may not end up using all four of these. I may end up using just three. But I'm going to unravel both of these. Both sides and it's three on each side. So I do like the little waviness that it gives. Let me see how far I want to go. Okay, I'm gonna take it all the way up to my I'm gonna take it all the way up to my um uh, to my knot here. Back to the drilling part. So now I'm going to go ahead on and put holes in here. And this actually has a hole in the side. I'm just going to make these bigger. These has have holes already in them. And I'm going to put holes in the other side. I ended up finding these little pieces here. These are the pieces that if you have the nine compartment stands that you put your little baskets in for like crafting or some people use it for home decor. This is the back of them. That's what this is, the back. So I'm going to use them for my back. Of course the holes didn't lined up. Okay, scratch that. I got to try something else. So stay tuned. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take a sheet of paper and I am going to make that my bottom and I'm going to do the same thing I did on this sheet of paper that I did on here. So I'm going to make me a little template and I'm going to work from there. 
And I believe this is going to work because I can also put the holes in my little template. Okay, so I have that that there. I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors. And again, I am going to cut it out a little bit smaller. Just a smidge. I'm going to cut on the inside of the line here instead of the outside of the line and let's see if it fits right in there and this should it should fit right in there and it does and the holes line up so you can see that the holes line up i'm going to do the rest of these off camera but i am going to show you guys I guess I could have just used one of these, but these is like sticky. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do on camera, and then I'm going to do the rest off camera so you guys won't be, when I get ready to do the last one, I'll come back and show you, but I'm trying to think how many I want to use. I may end up using only um, three, and again, I may not, but anyway. I have the beginning here at the top. I mean, this is the top right here again. So I'm going to put my little corner bracket. I mean, my little wall back in there again. And it's six ends. It's six sides to this. And it's six ropes. So I got to find out which side of the rope is going to go on this side. I got to find out which side of the rope is going to go on this side and which side of the rope is going to go on this side. So, like I said, I have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is the beginning right here. So, I'm going to take that beginning and I'm going to take... Okay, now that I have all four holes, this is how it's going to look. And so, what I want to do is I think I'm going to take a little hot glue and I'm going to glue the rope to the sides here. But I'm going to do that after I paint it. So this is how it's looking here. So now I want to make sure I get the length that I want downwards here. And I think I want it up just a little bit. So I'm going to push it up just a little bit. I'm going to look at it again. So about like that. And then I'm going to take this part that's underneath it here. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. And the reason why I'm tying it in a knot is so it won't slide down again. Pull it back up like that. So there we go. We have one done. And if I feel like it's uh, not even, which it, it, it's pretty even to me, but if I feel like it's not even when I get ready to glue it, I'll make sure that it's even. But So this is how it's going to go. This is the first one here. And I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put these other ones on here. So which will be my three to go on this side and my three to go on that side. So that's how we're going to do that. So I'm going to continue with these, and then when I get done, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I found these uh, little balls, little uh, tennis balls, little plastic tennis balls that I'm thinking about using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little drill, the little drill bit that you see me use, the same drill bit that's in there. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put holes in six of these, and I'm going to see how it look. But I found these, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I can use these instead of tying a knot at the bottom. Maybe I can use these and stick it through there. So we're going to try that. So stay tuned to see what the finished product looks like. 
Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. So this is my hanging contraption. I don't know if I want to put mirrors, I mean glass in it or plants or I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm really liking the color of it and I'm not done with it. So i am got it hanging on the door for right now. Craft door until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. So you guys stay tuned. And see what color I painted. Okay, everything is drying. And so I just um, used my chip brush and I just painted the white on there. And I've also painted the beads. And I also painted this white. And I painted the stand here in the wax. And then I also went over, I said I wasn't going to go over it. But I just highlighted it a little bit more. So I went around with the white. And so now what I'm going to do is once everything dry, I am going to put the wax on top of it. I'm going to rub wax on top of it. So you guys will see that. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed these and I hope you guys can make some of these as well don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so the next time i do a video you will be notified and don't forget to share 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 we are on our road to 1000 subscribers thank you so much for everybody that is subscribed to my channel as of right now i do Really, really appreciate all of you guys. See you in the next DIY.